Man, you just heard that? You heard the news about Jane Arledge? What? Talking about the NG women's basketball coach? Yeah. Man, hold on, man. Let me check my phone real quick. Let me see what you're talking about. Oh, snap. She retiring, bro. <laughs> 36 years in the game. Bro, that is a long time, bro. She like the GOAT here, like the MJ <laughs> of basketball. Yeah, we got to go down there and get an interview her, man. Man, we need to get her. We need to get some of the players. We need to get a whole E60 on it. Word. That's what we gonna do. I'm Shaq Rowe here at Vision 48 News, and I'm here with Jane Arledge, um, women's basketball coach here at North Carolina University. Um, just want to get right into it. Um, I have a question, and I'm just wondering um, why would you make this to end or retire? Because you've obviously transformed women's basketball here at North Carolina University, and what ultimately led you to this decision? Well, I've been working on it for a couple of years, um, and it, I felt like it was I'd put in enough years, and I was ready to go on to phase three of my life, I, I guess as I say it, um, because uh, there's other things I want to do. And basketball is all encompassing. It just seems to take up so much time. And I thought, you know, I'd like to do some other things in life. Was it a difficult decision for you to make? Because when something, especially athletics, has been in somebody's blood all their life, a decision like this has to be difficult. It was very difficult. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss the girls. <laughs> you know, that, that's such a thing. Cause they're really my family. I, I spend a lot of time with them. You know, you think how many hours of, a week we spend together, and, and that's going to be hard. Um, the good thing is I'm not leaving North Greenville. I'm going to still be here teaching. I'll still be, you know, walking in and talking to them. Um, but I'll also get to help other teams also. Now, coming when you, when you first took the job, what was your goals um, when you first came in? And as you're coming to an end in your career, did you achieve those goals? Well, you know, um, in some respect we did because the big thing is I wanted to be a good influence on, on girls and let them have a good uh, experience of playing basketball. Because in the long run, it's still a game and it's still um, up at the end of a year, you know, you, you, you remember wins and losses, but 10 years down the road, you don't really remember uh, losses and wins, big wins. You remember the relationship you had with your teammates. And so I think that's what's important. Um, so, you know, what I accomplished, you know, I think every coach going in wants to win conference championships. They want to win national championships. Did I win a national championship? No. But I think we did a lot of good things here. Now, I saw in the papers the other day, um, the athletic director here, um, Jan McDonald, she um, said a quote about you. She said that um, you really um, impact thousands of girls, hundreds of girls' lives here. Um, what does it mean for you to hear you have to direct this today about you and your career. Well, I hope I did. You know, you definitely want to be an impact on somebody's life instead of detriment. And hopefully I encouraged them. I gave them a little bit of love, um, you know, and helped them grow up a little bit because there's been, you've watched girls mature through four or five years and it, it's, it's such a huge um, thing to see. And I think that athletics and, and whoever's over the athletics is a huge part of that. Is there a specific player throughout your career that you can look back on after you're done and say, wow, it's been, a, it's been a great player and coach? You know, I've had so many great players, and I'd hate to just single out one. Mm -hmm. um, there, there's been so many girls that have achieved a lot more than I ever thought they would, and, and I'm so proud the way that, you know, they work day in, day out. They really had a goal of their own to achieve, and those are the ones that, that you really like, the ones that you helped mold to be a better athlete, to be a better player that got in this gym and, and practiced all the time, you know, on their own, not just when I was there, but on their own to, to go to a goal higher than, than anyone can really believe that they were really working to achieve. And now your assistant, um, Willis Holiday, um, he'll be taking over as the head coach. What can you tell us and the NGU student body as we come forward to look, at, look for him to coach the season next year? What can we look for him to do? Coach Holiday's going to do a really good job. Um, when we decided last year that I, this would be my last year and um, Ross Jolly left, we decided let's find a coach that will be a good, somebody that will come in knowing that if everything worked out right that he was going to be the next coach. And so we looked high and low for somebody that we thought would step in and do a great job as associate head this year and then would transition, it would be an easy transition into the next coach and so I think he he brings experience he brings a lot that um, 
you know, he, he really motivates the players. He knows how to personally get with the players and touch, you know, be in touch with them. So I think he's going to do really well here. Now, you'll be honored this week. What do you think um, it'll be like here um, as the whole NG student body comes out and supports you in your last home year here? Wow, that, I'm sure it's going to be emotional. I haven't, I haven't really, really, I've been worried about beating uh, Lisa McCray <laughs> more than I have been worried about this. So, um, But I'm sure it, when the final whistle blows, it's going to be very emotional. Uh, just like, you know, when you play your last basketball game, you think, I'm never going to do this again. So. But I'm going to be around basketball. Um, I'm going to be around them. Uh, I'm going to be around, like I said, other sports. So I think it'll be okay. At least I'm hoping it's going to be. Now, you've been around for 36 years, Hall of Fame, number retired, a bunch of school records. What is your favorite memory after everything's all said and done? Oh, man. I, you know, there's so many memories that, and I've got so many stories that that's just what's, what's fun when you just sit down. If you think of, you could just go through the annual and pick out one person and say, give me a story about them. Like, you know, you've got a story about that person. Or you go to another year and pick out a person. And so that's what's so great that, you know, it's, it's like I said, it's not really the wins and losses. It's, it's how they have touched me. I hopefully have touched them and how we've grown together. Here, and last question. You have three games left on the season. Um, obviously in the playoff hunt, um, what should we expect um, as, you, as the season winds down? What do you hope for your team to well, we have played this year, we play everybody tough. A lot of games we've lost, you know, they've been super close, like five points and under. I think we got seven games that we've lost five or six points. Um, and so I think we're a scary team for anybody that, that may have to play us that's a higher seed than us because they know we can get them. Um, and so that, that's our goal that, you know, we, we let them slip by before, but hopefully we're not going to let them slip by once it gets to tournament time. And thank you all. Here we are with Ms. Jane Arledge. Um, if you see her around campus, um, just wish her all the best and everything that she does. Thank you very much. I, I've been blessed to be here at North Grable. You know, God has really looked over me, and this has just been a place that, you know, you can share your religion with your team. You can share, um, you know, God on a daily basis, and it's really made a difference. Thank you. What's going on, everybody? I'm here with NGU Women's Basketball Team. Um, you know, you got Coach Arlitz getting ready to retire. She's been here for 36 years. That's a long time. Um, what we really did, we wanted to get sit down with you guys and talk to y'all about, like, how Coach Arlitz has, like, influenced you guys. I know she's done talk, coached to hundreds of girls, and y'all are the recent ones that she's done coached. Um, I know we have Ayana, Ayana Shelton here, and she's a freshman. And, um, well, let's just take time to introduce everybody. Okay, well, I'm Ayanna Shelton, I'm a shooting guard, and I'm a freshman this year. I'm Devonnie Powell, I'm a senior, and I'm a point guard. I'm Cameron Carter, I'm a uh, junior, and I'm a point guard, slash shooting guard. <laughs> I am Alicia Hope, um, I was a guard when I played here, and I get my master's now, so I'm in grad school. Okay, well, let's start with Alicia. Alicia, you, you, you played last year, or was it two years two ago? Two years ago. Two years ago, you're a uh, grad assistant and coach all this life. What's like, uh, so you know her the longest, so what's something you learned from Coach Arledge as you've been here and as you're working under her as a grad assistant? Well, in school, she taught me that I needed to stay on top of my grades so that I could uh, earn my scholarships that I got each year as far as academics. <coughs> and basketball-wise, she knows the games well, and she has taught me a lot about basketball. And camera, I see you looking down. Like, <laughs> like what, what, what has you? Man, tell me a few things. Like, as a freshman, what did you think coming in? What did you think Coach Arledge was gonna be like? What did you think she was gonna be like? Hard, like on you, on you, on you, or is it more like? Um, I mean, after like watching like some college basketball and I seen how hard coaches were, I was like, man, I'm kind of not ready to go to college because she probably be like on my on my tail. But when I got here, like, she was really easy going. Like, I mean, she pushed us, of course, but, um, I mean, she was really easy to get along with, and I mean, I liked it. I liked her. And Ayano, you're a freshman, and so, like, you're a newbie of her. So, like, <laughs> yes. have you kind of, like, picked up any of those, like, traits about Coach Arledge? Like, has she been, like, a strong, like, a mentor, kind of, like, trying to help you get through college, teach you, like, womanhood? Like, I know it's life after basketball, so. Uh, definitely, like Hope said earlier about um, 
stay on top of your grades. She's really big about staying on top of your grades and going to class. So of course, that part was different than high school. You have someone telling you to go to class. And then again, I think she taught me just being a freshman about the importance of teamwork. And I think like that makes our team successful is all of us playing well together. So. And I know y'all have uh, three games left throughout the season. And uh, after the three games, y'all are entering into tournament play, right? Yes. How do y'all feel about the tournament? Like, what's y'all, how do y'all feel like? Well, you can get it. Yeah, I thought we were going to go in strong. I mean, our chemistry has grown since the beginning of the year, and we know how to like, play together and stuff like that. So I thought like we were going to be good in tournament. That's good. So does Coach Aldridge have a set of rules that she goes by? There's like things that she doesn't allow, things that she does allow. Like what's some of her pet peeves as a coach? Not cussing. She don't <laughs> lie cussing. She will make you go run a hill for each letter that you say at practice. No walking. Yeah, he does not. Each like letter. Each letter. Yeah. So don't like, say that F word. Don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> you better say that three letter word. <laughs> I, I take it down. I had to run a couple here. No. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, she hates Miss Free Post. Hate Miss Free Post. Yeah, definitely. Do we run for those? We even practice that in practice. Did we miss, we run the spring. Oh, yeah. Free throw, you miss. Yeah. Out of 10. Yeah, and she hates when yeah, uh, you throw the in the game. If you throw a ball to the opposing team, she'll come on the court for you. Recent game. <laughs> okay, and Alicia, um, do you miss like do you miss playing basketball? I do miss playing basketball, but I'd rather be coaching it right now. Right, and do you feel like Coach Olive is a great mentor to be coaching up under? Like you can take some of her philosophies and maybe take it to another school and maybe do just as well. I mean, not saying you're going to stay 36 years, but <laughs> just, you know, take what she's taught you and implement it into a different program. Yes, uh, she's very lenient, but I don't think that I would take that away from what she's taught me. Um, I want to be strict on players. Um, even though I feel like she's been strict, but not like as like the beginning of the season, I feel like she needed to like implement more stuff to the team. But I think she's done a great 36 years here at North Green. And y'all, y'all was a assistant coach. What's his, what's his name? Willis Holiday. Willis Holiday. Willis Holiday. How do y'all feel about <laughs> Coach Holiday coming in and taking Coach Alder's spot? Is that uh, an excitement? Does he have big shoes to fill? What's what's y'all's take on that? <laughs> I think it's gonna be too different than what it is now, kind of since they're both like doing practices and games, but. I feel like he's definitely more energetic, yeah. loud, yeah, vocal. He's more, he interacts a lot. Yeah. He interacts a lot. Do you like that? You like interaction? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. He's yeah. a cool coach, though. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be an easy transition, I think. Easy yeah, transition. especially yeah. that we've already got the yeah. experience under him, and it's not like a random coach that's coming in, you know? Taking over. Yeah. So, so, it'll okay. be a, so he could do a good job yeah. and filling in for Coach Arlen. Yeah, I think so. That's, that's, that's really good. That's the biggest one, I guess, as a school, that's the big concern, like losing that big, like you could say, the GOAT, you know, Coach Arlen is the GOAT. 36 years, I'm telling you, that's a big number to be somewhere. And just for you to, like, leave, it's like, it's time for me to go. And for somebody to help step in and maybe do better or maybe do just the same. So that's a good job. But the last thing I want to ask is for incoming freshmen, what do you have to tell them about North Greenville women's basketball? What does North Greenville, what does North Greenville women's basketball mean to y'all? Uh, well, I think as a freshman um, coming into a new school anywhere, even if you're not playing basketball, it's kind of scary. Making new friends is really hard. Yeah. But I think North Greenville basketball, me coming in, I think they welcomed me and it made it really easy for me for coming from high school. I got my fast friends mm -hmm. and teammates, and that's who I hang out with the most. So. What is North Greenville women's basketball mean to you? What does what does that when it's all said and done, when you're done playing, what does what does it stand for for you like? Um, I mean, well, getting the opportunity to play college basketball is like, it's always been a dream of mine. And uh, before I even like came in, it was like, oh man, uh, do I really want to go like D2? Like I used to always look at the D1, D2, D3 aspect of everything. 
but I mean, it's really no different. Like, um, North Greenville kind of, it welcomed me and like, it gave me everything that I ever asked for. Um, I used to always wanted to play on the Pat Summit, but um, coming here it just made everything much easier. It feels like I am D1. And so, I mean, to anybody out there, it's just like, don't look at it that way, you know? As long as you get to live your uh, dream out and you get opportunities like this, don't take, don't take it for granted. Okay. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Demai, we need some words. You can't, you can't take everybody else, bro. They said it all, really. So they said it all, really. Basically, just come in with an open mind, really. Come I mean, it's not mind. as bad as it may seem, like, you know, it's rules and everything, but coming in on the team, it helps a lot because you you come in, like, with friends, basically, because as a fresh, when I was a freshman, I text, like, some of the freshmen over the summer, and, like, we got to know each other before we came in, like, me and Suggs, we were actually, like, closer when we first came in, even though we didn't, like, live in the same area, yeah. nothing, we, like, text. So it gave you a, a security blanket, uh, a friendship, a bond. Because like, you could be team. homesick, like, especially from living, like, living far away, you could be homesick. And then you already, your friends can be there for you at all times. And the team is really like a family. You they always have your back, like sisterhood. Mm -hmm. uh, as Cam mentioned, as a freshman, it is another opportunity for those who get to play college basketball. Um, also, North Greenville is Christian based, so it's kind of a place where you can grow your faith with God. So that's probably a good aspect of the school. All right, guys. I appreciate y'all. I think y'all time out sitting with me. Hope y'all weren't too nervous. You know, Devonnie don't like to talk too much. And I appreciate y'all. And um, I hope that y'all do well in the tournament. Thank uh, you. I hope that y'all work hard in the off season. I know Devonnie get done, so give it all you got because you you know you can't get stuff like this back. And you're gonna just remember the memory that you have with your sisters on the team, and that's what you's gonna carry you through life. And I hope y'all do well and everything. And hope I hope you. Graduate, you know, get your master's. Graduate, get your master's. <laughs> Graduate, get your master's. That's a big thing. Two degrees, you can't beat it. And I wish everybody nothing but success. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.